Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Today's story is Water and Soil. Uh, this story is really nice story. I love it so much. And uh, uh, as normal, every story has a moral. And this this story has a very, very nice moral. I need you to listen carefully to discover the moral. So let's start. Once upon a time, there were two kings, one and other. Their kingdoms were side by side, and while the most natural thing would be for them to be beloved friends, these two had managed to be enemies, and the reason for this plight was a river. These two kingdoms were divided by a strong, lively, filled with clear water river, which turn, turning and curving, dividing and splattering, carried away everything that was in the way. Three branches villagers had taken by the, the air, logs, rocks, and of course, soil from its river bank. Water and soil were sliding, meeting at the sea, and dis disappearing in its embrace, so the river was becoming wider and wider, but its level was becoming lower and lower. But for this natural change, King One was blaming King Other for stealing his water, and King Other was blaming King One for stealing his soil. Who took my water? Who took my water? Who took my soil? Who took my soil? You did. No, you did. Why did you take the water? Why did you take the water? Why did you take the soil? Why did you take the soil? They were screaming and screaming one to other, and their screams were never ending. One was pointing other with his finger, the known as index finger, as if he wanted to, cl to claw the other's eye out. In the end, since they couldn't find the solution and they could never find the stolen soil nor the stolen water, they decided to start a war, and whoever won could take position of the defeated king's kingdom and the river. They immediately ordered generals and warriors who began to prepare in both kingdoms huge cannons, the cannons of the mud war. Their, these cannons were very effective. Last time, thanks to their mud fires, they replied a huge swarm of hungry lactus. There were craving the valley's grains, which the villagers of both kingdoms were leaving on. So, the soldiers of the one kingdom went to the bank of water and soil, while on the same bank opposite, the soldiers of the other kingdom were trying to gather soil and water too, because mud fires were made of these two ingredients. So, they began fighting each other and they were ready to attack each other. They realized the, op the, uh, the obvious that instead of both fighting for the same things, they could be friends again for the same things. Water and soil belong to everyone, so they could share them instead of fighting over them. In order to make mud fires, you need, to, you need cooperation, water and soil together. That means the one kingdom and the other. Why are we fighting then? The warriors then called their fellows warriors and they called all the others and they built a bridge. And they began back and forth from one camp to the other. And once they, they made together enough mud, mud fires, they began throwing them to the two kings. The kings were in shock, got scared, and while they were running around, one pumped into other, fell down with a huge bam, and when they saw their faces covered in mud, then they burst out laughing. They were laughing and laughing, and they couldn't stop laughing, and then the soldiers began laughing too, and the horses and the donkeys and the, roast, the roaster on the roof and the cannons and the villages in both kingdoms. Until the night began to fall, 
they made the greatest feast in the history of fairy tales. The two kings made up, united their kingdoms, and since then, every year around this time, they celebrated their union and their love with mud fires and a feast. And of course, they lived happily ever after. And as for us, we are still looking for it. So, the moral of this story is fighting never been a solution ever talking and discussions and being thoughtful about others will be better than fighting and will make you a better person of course i want you all to be a great person and one day you will become really really great and don't doubt yourself and be careful be safe Wait for the other for the next story and see you. Bye.